Alright. So I set up as far as government sitting in my whole thing. I got my meats. Mm. And uh we we spent the last episode just scavenging for treasures and stuff, which is a lot of fun. And today we're taking on the last Lord of the Four Realms, Heisenberg. But before we do that, when we're taking a sneak peek at what was coming next, we found a crazy woodmill shack sort of area with a big fuck-off bloke in there. And we're gonna go ruin his whole week. And it's gonna be great. Hopefully. Because uh, he's very large and has a very large axe. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Okay. Well, let's do it. I also splurged an additional, I wouldn't call it DLC, but additional content pack I found in a shop that um, came with a lot of cool stuff. Uh, I gave you uh, the option to get the old tape recorder as a save point of so the typewriters, the tape recorders from Resi 7. Um, it gave you some film grain mode, which I haven't tried out yet. I wonder if I can do it from in here. No, I have to do it from the main, main menu. Um, and it gave me the same right edge. Uh, but fortunately, I guess that was more like it's good as a starting weapon because I can't upgrade it and its power is only 110, which is wild to me. Oh, what's up, Clay? <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we're about to get those big axes. Um, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Look at this fucking place. I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know if I even go in this. Yep. Wouldn't be Resi if it wasn't locked from the other side. But uh, hopefully, hopefully it should be should be finishing tonight. I hope. I feel like we've gone over the average run time, so I imagine, unless this last area is just fucking terrible, um, in length-wise, not like bad game design. Um, hopefully. I want to finish it tonight, anyways. Okay, I'm gonna get my boomstick out. I don't want to have to use the Magnum. I fucking will if I have to. <laughs> You're lost in the sauce? It's okay, buddy. I got some sauce myself. We can get lost together. Expand the sauce. Expand the lost. Let's all expand together. Expand. Okay, there's Biggin. Ooh, I'll take that. Sorry, I'm obsessive. Pretty stacked right now, though. We're we're sitting pretty, so. Oh, got a flame barrel. What are you smashing over there? Seven herbs and spices from KFC. A 
I wonder. <gasps> oh, fuck off. Stop over here. Yeah, get fucked. Get fucked. Holy shit, he is faster than you think. Come on, asshole. Come on. Come on, biggin. Step on up. The price is right, motherfucker. <laughs> he sounded like he enjoyed that. Ooh! <laughs> oh, fuck, where is he? Oh, he... He big spicy. He big spicy. Come on, asshole! Oh, he... He big mad. Oh, I'm s what the fuck? Oh lord, he can jump? Oh, get fucked on my minds. Oh, he's so mad! He's so mad! He's so mad! Holy shit. Lord? Oh, he landed right on it, I think. A little closer. Oh, yeah, there it is. Buddy, come on. Oh, he's jumping. I think. Oh, he's so close to it. He's so close to it. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, you know you want it. You know you want it. Oh, he wanted it. Oh, he's still coming. <laughs> he's that spicy. He's jumping or not. <gasps> oh, he's down there. Oh, fuck off. <gasps> Holy sh... Jesus. It's right there, buddy. It's right there. <laughs> this guy's gonna take all my goddamn ammo. Get on my face. Oh, 
Oh shit. I get Dark Souls motherfucker. God, jeez, oh. Well, I'll say. <laughs> hey, Eternal, how's it going, dude? That was a spicy fight. That might have been one of the spiciest fights we've actually even had. I mean, Lady D gave me a run for her money. God bless her. But, whoop. That was wild. We're not too put off for ammo. I used mostly explosives, so. Not too bad. I didn't. I only got hit like maybe once. If ever. Confirmed. Um. Scavenge for some shit. Sniper so rifle ammo, yes, please. Nothing upstairs, I forgot. Nah, nah, we're looking good. It looks like I, I probably could have just like broken out here earlier. If I just like hit the doors. Oh. Oh, come on, Ethan. There you go, buddy. <gasps> oh! We're flush with meat! Hell yeah. <laughs> we got those cold cuts. July 8th. Today is the day the Jolly Merchant stops by. He always gives me old newspapers. I know Miranda forbids them, but news of the outside world is always so fascinating. There was one thing that piqued my interest in the last one. It's an article about some medicine company. I don't remember the name, but their emblem looked familiar. It was the same emblem on the giant's chalice. I'm pretty sure I saw the same one painted on the walls in the cave, too. That radiating umbrella image really stands out. What's some outsider company emblem doing here? I wonder if it had anything to do with that man that stayed here all those years ago. Nah. I'm overthinking it. Okay. So that was some spicy lore. Um, so I was curious in the beginning when we, when we saw the umbrella symbols if that was... You know, what's Umbrella doing here, right? But it looks like Umbrella, or this place, predates Umbrella. So that's interesting. 
But what does Umbrella have to do with this place, then? And they say that man who visited all those years ago, was it one of the Umbrella founders? I bet it was Spencer, that fucking asshole. Oh, Oswald. The bitch. Could be. Could be. We'll see. <laughs> uh, give me one second. Just a second. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Oh, what's in here? What's in here? That looks expensive. Father Nicola's Angel. Also, uh, with that additional pack I purchased, apparently it gives me a bunch of spicy concept art. And if there's one thing I love more than anything, it's concept art. I love it. So good. Oh, fuck off. What are you all doing here? Mind your business. That's a lot. That's a lot. Come on, boys. Did you have fun with that? Did you feel like you accomplished something here? You're pathetic. You're weak. Weak-ass boys. You don't belong here. This is my village now. <laughs> Alright, I got a bunch of stuff, so I'm gonna go head back to uh, good old Big D. And, and sell it. We'll take just a moment. Just a moment. Plus, I got all that meat. Get some health upgrades. Especially going into the final Shall place. I do something for you? you know we need it. You know we need it. Damn. Damn! Can really not use it for... Oh, I just need one more chicken. Just need one more chicken. Okay, here we go. We got the chicken. We got eyes on the bird. Eyes on bird confirmed. We have to get around there. We have to get there. I have to go... Take it out. Graveyard, church. Take the roundabout. It's okay. It's worth it. Big D's gonna make us a big dinner. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, excuse me? Wait. This wasn't here before. This is when Chris's team set up. Operation 8, February 9th, 2021. 11.35, arrived at site. No sign of Ethan Winters or Rose Winters. 12.10, infiltrated village. Engaged with number of bioweapons. Found evidence of Ethan Winters, Rose Winters location unknown. 13.10, established base in church. Plan of operations. Search laboratory. Analyzed mold samples. Infiltrate factory. I'm assuming those initials are signs for name of Chris's team, maybe? I says, you know what I, I've been thinking about recently? At what point in your life do you stop using Mr. and Mrs. for people? I guess they feel like I shouldn't call some co-workers by their first name. Like who? If you say me, I swear to fucking God. If someone called me Mrs. Danvers, I would punch him in the dick. 
Probably. Okay, I think get to the chicken. Let's get to the chicken. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's like a werewolf. Oh, man, is it worth it? Is that chicken worth it? I don't know, fam. I don't know. I don't want to waste my magnum bullets on it. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck the hen. You felt the way about Crawford? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't. It's probably because we're like the same age, basically. Just a year off. Oh man, is there a way to get there? Without going up there. What if I go down and around in an earlier round? And sugar we're going down swinging. Nope, that's the wrong way. It's the old town. If you start calling me Miss Danvers, I'm gonna lose my glob. Although it does sound very sophisticated. Miss Danvers, your order is ready. Miss Danvers, we have another case for you. <sighs> that chicken over there. I swear to God. I swear to God. The fucking chicken. Ah! <gasps> ah! Damn it! Nah, that's rough. I'll get you one day. You plucky motherfucker. <laughs> Miss Danvers, I got glass in my elbow. Help. <laughs> Which, that would just be an everyday occurrence for you in that frame shop. If you don't stop hurting yourself, like, I swear to God. Okay, here's... Here's the deal. Yes. I want that. Securing goods is more important than anything. Crystal Axe 30k. Holy fuck. Oh my god. I'm flush with money right now. Okay. I'm gonna upgrade the Magnum. Maybe. What else we got? That's fully uploaded. Rate of fire. Reload speed. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. Okay. We're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons. See, next we meet. treasure hunting pays off. Oh, hey, chef. How you doing, dude? Happy Monday, my guy. Okay, we're on to the last stronghold officially. Officially official. We're about to get that bread. 
weird looking. See, why the fuck would you need a, a fucking herb to make explosives? Like, that doesn't make sense. It's like, you know how precious it is. Precious it is. Like, I make you choose. I hate it. Hate it. I hate imagery, though. Oh, you are pretty. By the way, can you guys hear the dishwasher in the background? It's like... My housemate set it off like right as I was setting it up. I'm like, god damn it. But I was like, no, nah, I want to get on early because I want to get done with this tonight. But let me know if it's, if it's really loud. I can probably turn my mic monitoring down. Okay. One step, Mr. Frodo. This is the farthest I've been from the village. Yeah? Alright, give me a second. How's this? Better or worse? I always keep meaning to tell her, like, hey, I'll, I'll run it later, and just, just, I'm about to get, I'm, I'm sorry, pardon? Whomst? Man, this thing has like no sway since I got that pistol grip on it. Beautiful. It's just criticals left and right. Like, get fucked. Like, I'm not even scared at this point. I'm just like, who? Who fucking wants some shit? So I will give you the business right now. You're, you're gonna get the old razzle dazzle. You want some razzle dazzle? Yeah, you want some razzle dazzle. Oh. Yes, for the dazzle, you can get the razzle. <laughs> Oh, word? Get fucked. Oh, yeah. That make you feel good? Fuck you. Or you can block arrows with your knife, so I'm trying. Damn it. Come on, asshole. Ah, 
I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Come on. Do it. Do it. Oh, <gasps> I did it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, now you can die. <laughs> Fucking Aragorn up in this Oh, oh, you big spicy. Yeah, get wrecked. We're not afraid anymore. We got a daughter to save. You fucking kidding me? Fuck all y'all. We're gonna secure that bag tonight. Also, when he makes some health. Anything else around here? I says who? Who what? What are you on about? A word? Right in the fucking eye socket. <gasps> Who the fuck? Oh, Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. Fun fact, famous famous story from the production of that. I think from the first movie, uh, Fellowship. Uh, Viggo Mortensen is was known to just completely inhabit the character of Aragorn. And during, I think it was practice one day, I'm not sure if it was a complete scene, I can't remember. It's a scene or a practice, but um, someone shot an arrow. It was a dummy arrow, but still an arrow nonetheless. But um, it was supposed to go by him, but instead it went like right at him, and he deflected it with a dagger. No, Aragorn's a sword boy. But he he blocked an arrow with his with his sword or dagger, one or the other. I'm pretty sure it was a sword. To be fair. To be fair. Okay, there's ladder time. There's some stuff over here. What else do we got going on? I don't know, Ethan. I don't know. Sure we'll figure it out, buddy. What 
we got here? Fucking fucking zombies mode in COD right now, to be honest. It's getting like a lot less like tense situations and more just like fuck everything up. I just have to pay attention to ammo reserves a little more. Oh, f Christ. Come on, asshole, make the jump. It's the last one you'll make. Time that guy jumped at me, I was like, go ahead, make the jump, it's the last one you'll ever make, then blew his head off. Fucking brilliant. <laughs> you love to see it. I'll make sure I get everything for I, uh... I don't like there's anything down there. Fucking okay, rad. Thank you, Clay. Thank you. So kind. Anyone else? Anyone else coming? Come on. A triple dog dare you. Get it. Because they're fucking lichens. <laughs> Got him. Be like you when, you when I grow up. Oh, thank you, Clay. Thank you. I know. I'm a bit of a role model. A little bit of a trendsetter. Kind of a cool cat. <laughs> um, so dumb. Save yet? It could be more loot around. I'm looking over here. I got a lot of pipe bombs. I'm doing okay. I think we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Spooky stuff over there. Can we 
we jump it, though? No. We can't. Well, this is like it's gonna it suck. No, Ethan, it's the fucking Macy's. Get your head in the game, boy. If you call me Miss Danvers one more time, I'm gonna block you. Fuck sakes. Oh my god, I missed so many bullets. Twofer, get wrecked. Oh, you want some too? Get up, asshole. Anyone else? Ooh. I still hear dramatic music and yelling in the background. Should have used mines. What was I thinking? Not very well, apparently. Ah, oh, no, like no pistol ammo. Oh, what's up, asshole? I can't tell the music's going away or hat's going away. Fuck. Fuck this. I'm just getting the fuck out of here. Oh, 
Holy shit. Holy fucking hell. <laughs> Fuck! Fucking fell. Fucking kidding me. Okay, big guy. Jesus Christ. Okay, first of all, how is this many people living here that they could just make this many lichens for? That's what I want to know. That was a fun battle, though. Not gonna lie. We're, pretty, we're still pretty well off, I think. Plenty of stuff. Like having a lot of pistol ammo. Ooh, goodness though, goodness. Yo, Chai, you're a man of much following. I appreciate you. you Rap scallion. Was that fucking magnum ammo? Hell yeah. We're in the end game now, boys. Actually, I don't know. I haven't even gotten to, like, the fourth realm, I guess. So, I don't know how long this is gonna fucking take. For whomst do they call for me? Is me coming through? Coming through? Oh, wait, can I see them? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. What the fuck? Again, where are they getting all the bodies from? This is a very small village. Where are they getting all this? Okay, whatever. 
we're not gonna wax philosophical about werewolf behavior. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, stocked up proper. The king's orders finally arrived. Withdrawal! It is most vexing that you must abandon the border stronghold that he's heretics. I have but a little more time. I know I might be able to turn the tides of this battle. Nay, I should not put on airs. It is my curiosity that ties me to this place. There are a number of rooms in the vicinity in which the locals say are very ancient. A ceremony site with four giant statues, the caves with murals carved on the walls, the stone plinth they call the giant's chalice. Where do people who built them come from? Where do they go? It irks me that we must abandon this place without knowing. Oh, thank fuck, a safe spot. Hey, try DoorDash me a uh, pizza, and I'll DoorDash you just one Coke. <laughs> One cherry coke. Oh, come on. That's not good. Is it our ogre? Oh, it's, it's fucking big bloke. Holy shit. Okay, okay. What's he doing? What's he doing? Fuck you. Oh my god, you just crush the shit out of me. Oh lord. Oh lord.
Jesus Christ. Lord, he coming. That's so much damage. Okay, I still got three health kits left. Fuck! Is that it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Eat shit. <laughs> you tell him, Ethan. Fucking hell. One second, lads. The Wi Fi on my laptop just went out. Are you guys still seeing everything fine? Hey, Fisher. Okay, yeah, stream looks fine. What the hell? Lappy lap. Oh, now it's connected. Okay. Man, that dude was pretty tough. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Or would I lie? So looking like nothing in the grenade department, which is unfortunate, but look at this! That's gonna sell for a pretty fucking penny. Means Clay's getting high as fuck. Good for him. It's been a hell of a day. He deserves it. Alright. Yo! I can find my kyber crystal in here. Real talk. in that bag. Anyone else? Looking this way? Anyone? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let me get back to... Thoughts. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Everyone else who just joined in a little bit. Hope everyone's had a good day. Welcome to Heathen Winters versus the world. Oop. That could have been bad. Oh, we got it.
You're the real deal, Ethan. Oh no, I haven't gotten the Heisenberg's thing. Out. I'm not letting you get out of this. <laughs> cool your jets. Just a little bit more, and you're all wrapped up. I'll lend you a hand. So in exchange. In exchange what? First of all, come to me. Put all the flasks in the altar, and I'm sure you'll figure the rest out. See you, Ethan. God damn it. Yeah, I literally just spent the last like hour just fighting werewolves. Yeah, straight werewolves. That was it. I like the big fuck off doggo versions, but you know, just regular lichens running around. Which was, you know, harrowing to say the least. But, you know, we got through it. We did it. I didn't die once. Not one time. Never in my life. What is all this? Is this back in the Castle D dungeon? Well, I guess I might as well. I might as well. I don't know what that said. I'll look at it later. Cut out implants notes. Results low affinity. Could out fail to grow. Body transformation dropped in condition. Another lichen sent to pasture. One female, no occupation, no history of illness. Results death. Alcina D. 44 female, noble descendant, not from the village, hereditary blood disease. Results very high affinity, no loss of cognition, arbitrarily able to control body transformation. Applied condition and control procedure sent for observation. Oh. This for all sorts of sciencey scams up in here. Oh yeah, give me all that stuff. Give me the loot. <laughs> I need it. I need it. I'm desperate. Oh, come on. I just got new ammo. Come on. Line, line it up. That's right. That is some bullshit. <sighs> Fucking zombies. Oh, wait. Where was I going? Oh, a bladder. Oh, hey, Plague. How's it going, dude? They get clapped by any of the nobody who means that's good. <laughs> oh, little Lucy is snow snoring. You should take video of it and send it into the Discord. She's adorable. Precious little rat. Oh, see? I told you. First video, I was like, ah, nah, I'm gonna come out there later at some point. Fucking nailed it. Nothing gets past me. I'm still not gonna get that chicken. Fuck it.
Why didn't Heisenberg have his flask, though? Why do you leave it, like, all the way in that lichen pit? It's weird. Is every other boss just had theirs? It's my greatest pleasure to see you return alive. Oh, yes. Mine too, buddy. Please do take a look at my new stock. Oh, first. Thank you for your patronage. Make sure I can combine. Okay. You wish. Should get a pretty penny for this. Still nothing new. Okay, well, I guess we're just upgrading. One moment, please. Leave this to me. Ah, it's fine. All finished. Pay me no mind. Till next... We meet. Alright, lads. Here we go. One last file left of our little daughter. We're gonna put it in here. Fun. Looking forward to this. Anything else they make? That's why we repaired. Sorry, I got oh, two grenade shots. Yeah, rock those shells. I don't know, Ethan. Sure, you better find out, though. Time to build all this. Wait, wait, no, I need to. I was gonna get across there. Well, shit. So we're in front of our long elevator ride.
Don't worry about the kid, even. It'll be fine. Ha! Just get your ass across the bridge. Cool, dude. Alright, here's his realm. The factory. Ah, <sighs> All that work. And I was like... I thought we were about to enter the final area. And it took... It's an hour and a half just to get to this fucking place. Ah! Ethan Winters. Welcome. I didn't think you'd make it past Donna Moreau. But I suppose you survived worse back in America, hmm? I like you. I'd like to speak to you about Rose and Miranda. Oh, come on in. Don't worry. It's not a trap. What are you planning? Well... Uh, definitely gonna think it's a trap now. To be fair, I think everything is a trap. That's why I'm still alive. There's gotta be some shit around here. It's gotta be. There's not some sweet, sweet loot. I swear to God. Not even a scrap. It's a fucking factory. I can't even find some metal scraps to make my bullets, to which I'll kill you with. There we go. There's one. Thank you, Heisenberg. High power gas. What the hell? Mia? Truth hurts, don't <gasps> it? Let me guess. Your thing. Take me out like the others. And then he gets to go and save Rose, right? I'm healing my daughter. Look, you, you, you got this all wrong. Shut your fucking hole! Sorry about that. <laughs> Take a seat. Listen, Ethan, you're being played. What are you talking about? You think this is a game? I said sit! <sighs> Lady, supersized bitch. Ugly, a psycho doll. An emeronic freak. Don't you get it? It's a test. To see if you're strong enough to be a part of Miranda's family. I don't want to be a part of Miranda's family. Neither did I, but here we are. And I'm next in line, right? Kill me, move up the chain, well fuck that! I don't give a damn about your personal issues. I just want to fix my daughter. <laughs> so do I. Do you have any idea how powerful a kid is? Even Miranda's scared of her. Last time, you freak, I swear to God! You and me, Ethan. Together, we can go save Rose, and then we can use her to grind Miranda into paste. My daughter is not a weapon. Fuck you!
Last chance. You don't want to find out what's in that hole. I'll take my chances. You're a few. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. What the fuck? Okay. All right. That's a bit unfair. That's a bit unfair. It doesn't even give you a chance to escape. It's like, no, you're just gonna... You go the wrong way, you're fucking dead. And go fuck yourself. Cool. Cool. Love. Love to see it. Hi, Croc. <laughs> thank, thank. Welcome you and your mates. Thank you. Okay. God, fuck this guy. I well, obviously we're going left. It's this. But you can't. I have to go this way. What the fuck? What do we do? Dead end. Oh, it was a fucking garbage shoot. Damn it. Dumbass. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry, if I don't look at chat too much thing? during this high stakes shit going on. Oh my god. Also, if no one wants the end of Resi 8 spoiled. We're in the thick of it, so. Oh. <sighs> Is there is the lost crap metal around? I can build some stuff. Do I need anything in particular? Probably use more shotgun shells. For fuck's sakes. Come on, line yourselves up. Yes, the subterranean scrapyards, a classic feature in the village of a garbage man. At the end, there's ought to be like, you know, apps and chat for all the fallen garbage men that were harmed in the making of this game. Ooh. 
like Heisenberg as a character, though. I think he's fun. I've got to get upstairs. God, look at this hellhole. Oh, this place is gonna be a fucking nightmare to get through, isn't it? Like, oh yeah, no, we'll we'll finish the game off tonight. It'll be grand. It'll be great. And it takes me an hour just to get to this place because I had to fight tooth and nail through goddamn werewolves. Oh, I think I have the thing for that. And now we're finally here. Okay, okay. Nope! That was already healed even. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I just wasted a health potion. And I could have saved first. I could just fuck it. Oh shit! Jesus Christ, Big D, I didn't see you there. I don't know, okay. Stock. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll take that. Supply scorpion. What are you? What are you? You're pretty. 180k. Fucking hell. I'm gonna get you. You just wait. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be mine. Increase capacity to 100,000. God, these upgrades are expensive. Expensive. God, that look at you though. God damn. <laughs> 50k for I don't think I can do anything else than that. I just I just spent a, a bit of grinding setting that up. So please come again. Alright. If I can can't make shit. Shall I choose something for you? I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications and will do them for a small fee. Six K. I can't do anything for six K. Good day, it's then. fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. Okay. Well, this is a map. Are you a map? Four materials. Okay. Well, I guess we're. Doing this. Uh, so B2, so one or three. Let's go for. Can you use that? Can you use that? Rad. Okay, alright, well, we'll figure something out. We always do. Oh, I can go through here. Oh, look at that. Hoomst. For hoomst. 
awaits me around the corner. Gunpowder. Cool. Cool. Some kind of locking mechanism. Looks easy to break. Oh, fuck. Get bent. God, daughter, I have no time for this shit. No time for this. Oh, you would like me to pull that first, one, you? Bet you would. Go pull the switch. Uh, things are a little less spicy. And watch the switch does nothing. I have to do a bunch of side objectives to even get it to work. Yep. Yep. Confirmed. Someone's yelling. This has to make a fit in the depression. I mean, anything like that so far. What is this? The surge? Casting machine more than mold. Oh god, I have to cast something? Give me a break. Okay, make sure there's nothing else in here. No? Alright, fine. We're going up these. Oh, Matt? How are you? Welcome, welcome. This is bullshit. Come on, come on. Like that, did you? It's good for you as it was for me. Chilling in bed? Nice. I'm good. I'm trying to get through the last bit of this. Hopefully. <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> It's taken a bit longer than I would have would have liked, but it's okay. It's kind of fun working through it. Right now we're in some sort of factory hellhole bullshit. Oh, he's definitely not about to get right back up. I swear to God, I swear to God, you just. Stay put. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. As soon as I open this, I go back out. He's up. And there's the mold. Yep, there it is. Fuck you. I don't got time for your bullshit. Don't got time. Go time. Don't got time.
What was that? Relief bolt. There it is. Leaf of Force. Brilliant. Fuck your stupid double drill hand. <gasps> ah! No! These are just like regular zombos with. They just put some metal plating on their heads. They didn't really try. Magnum ammo. Fucking worth it. Oh. What are you doing over there? You go over there. Horse key. Okay. Okay. I, I hear you moaning. Come on, assholes. Come on. No. Please. Get fucked. Come on. Come on. Everyone take their turn. Still on green. Come on, guys. Come on. Here's a room for everyone. That's right. That's right. Come on. A little further. And get fucked. Oh, this one's fast. Doing good. We're doing good, lads. We're doing good. By the way, if anyone wants to stick around until the end, I was telling them earlier, uh, I bought an additional activities pack, I guess. Uh, we got some cool concept art on the way at the end, as soon as we the game. Uh, if you don't want to stick around, obviously there will be a VOD available later. And as always on my YouTube. But a uh, huge fan of concept art. Okay, this isn't great. There's a lot of 
hulking tyrant bros here. Oh, we're here again. Casting machine. Where's the next save point? Eisenberg key. I mean, this isn't really a hub, so I don't know. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna blow this bitch wide open. Lord? big fuck off thing I just got. Was that treasure? Uh, what was this treasure? Lame! Lame. How you gonna do me like that? How you gonna do it? There's a banging on the walls up there. I don't, I don't appreciate it. It's propeller head again. I swear to God. Mechanical soldier, soldat, removed heart and implanted cadaver. Muscle stimulation via electric shock was successful. Brain dead, so no high cognitive ability. Only moves by destructive instinct, then stops. Touch head gear to cranium. Electrodes confirm stable brain waves. Experiment one, lichen fight. Was dismantled and eaten within three minutes. Issues with destructive and murderous capabilities. Version 1.10. Replace the lower part of armadrill. Not enough output for effective movement. Need light bodies, perhaps? Version 1.15. Put the cow reactor into a chest. Output greatly increased. Swim into lichen fight. Destroy three lichens. One minute. Good results, but issues with reactor durability. May stop functioning if the reactor is destroyed. Spicy. Cog mold. It's a starfish. Starfish. Why would I need to unlock? Music and spicy. I don't know why. Oh, shit. No.
Come on, asshole. Yeah, get Oh, <laughs> did you get fucked up? It's alright. There's no absent chat for you, bro. How's everyone doing tonight, though? How's everyone hanging in? Did you have a good Monday? Got anything cool going on tomorrow? Was oof. Why was it oof, buddy? People gave me a hard time. Pizza plate? Lucky, lucky. I had pizza yesterday, though. Skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications, and we'll do them for a small fee. Your coin. Oh, how big is it? Oh my god, it's so big. It's so big, guys. It's so big. Oh. You sexy motherfucker. Look at you. I'm gonna rearrange the shit out of you. Oh, you know what? to see it. So I have... Ah, oh, it's just 2700. It's not enough for anything. Need again soon. Okay. Uh, I apologize. I will be right back, lads. I gotta use the little streamer's room. I'll be right back. Acceptable delays will not be tolerated. Fuck off, fish. Although, it did cost me three viewers, so. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Okay, 
Let's see where we're going. Labyrinth puzzle. Generator lever. I was in there. Oh, I've got a map. Now I've found her at the end of the room. Backup generator. <laughs> Shit, we did it. What kind of fresh hell awaits us now? Such a disappointment. You tell me, dog. You tell him. Oh, 
tits. Fine. We're all fine here. We're all a okay. He's a little god at this point. He really is, though. I mean, how can one dude's day be fucked up so... Are you fucking kidding me? Lead him over here, and we give him the old, give him the old shake and bake. Ooh! <laughs> he went that way. <laughs> I hope they can't jump. I say that and watch him. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, fucking hell, fucking hell, come on. A little fucking faster, could you? A little. All top, top. All top, top. So neat and tiny. <laughs> Wait. I take great pride in my inventory management. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, no. Alright, come this way. Come this way. And then I'm going to go this way. Oh, Kansas City Shuffle. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, okay. I'm not I'm not shitting my pants. Fuck you, you're shitting your pants. Okay, 
Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Fucking hell. Besides sofa pen. Okay, first of all, Fisher, how do you know about that? Because that's freaky. Because I ordered pizza yesterday. And it's sitting on the on the on the coffee table right next to my sofa bed where I sleep. So, what the fuck? I went into this tonight like yeah this is the last it's the last one um, wasn't expecting all this Thanks to your consistent patronage, I've expanded my services. As you wish. To hunger. Yeah. We will meet again soon. Should have bought it down from your own achievement. Thank you, Bottom Battle Goosen. Well, that was a lie. You got me. You got me. How how dare you? Wasted two rifle shots. Miranda thinks we're nothing but children. Oh, she doesn't care for us. No. She's long lost all her humanity. I must destroy her. I don't give a shit about your family drama. Are you just mining? Should be sorry. How dare you? I think it's weird that the zombie heads don't pop like the lichens. It's a bit weird. Like, 
how inventory is, how organized your inventory is. It makes me happy. Thank you. Brings me back to the old Resi 4 days. I like a nice, tidy inventory. We boys are working hard in here. I want you to take some time off. Come on then. Come on. Line yourselves up. There's plenty of room for everyone. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck. Beef that. Yeah, you're right, fish man. You would think. One would think. Fortunately, it is not so. Lockpick. Brilliant. Okay. Is everything in here? No? Is there a gem? Crystal. There we go. That's it. Cleared it. Mm, cobwebs. So battle boost and you owe me a follow for that <laughs> that trickery earlier. Thank you so much for the follow. So nice of you. So kind. <laughs> no, but really, we, we do appreciate you. <laughs> We're so close to 50. <laughs> so close. Alright, Floor. You want to calm down? Lord, look at that. Another one. Okay. I'm sorry, what the fuck? Where's my Holy shit. Holy shit. Can I get past, please? Thank you. One dead. Oh, they have fucking jetpacks. 
or as Finn would say in Rise of Skywalker, we can fly now? We can fly now? Okay. Okay, big chungus. Got him. What's the point of having all that glowy armor and or having all that armor slowly regularly weak point exposed? Because video games. <laughs> did I get the piece from the other guy? I guess I did. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, okay, good. That wasn't so bad. I mean, I would never leave my weak point exposed like that. Fucking amateur hour over here. Get it together, Heisenberg. Clean it up. I'm kind of surprised there's not a thing where, like, I'm getting damaged by it. the falling debris. <laughs> Death Star logic for the wind. <laughs> I've gotta stop it somehow. Oh I wonder if it's by shooting this. <laughs> Heisberg's a basic bitch, confirmed. That's better. Oh man, I do not like walking in this though. That makes me nervous. Oh, I feel like we're about to enter like boss fight arena. Perhaps? No? Okay. It is a people grinder. Oh, there's a map to upper levels. How many levels are there? Attention jetpack and head stabilizers to a soul that greatly improves mobility. Experiments prove limited flight abilities. No long distance flights. But now possible to navigate rugged terrain. Attach aluminum alloy shielding to a soul that to protect chest reactor and exposed flesh. Experimentation proves he is invincible against regular firearms. Armor doesn't hold up against strong blasts. Further development needed. Yeah. Sick, bro. No, not that. Give me that. I want that. <laughs> Give me the good stuff. Uh. 
Okay, there's like a small secret door, so I can go in here. Fucking hate cobwebs, though. Not a fan. What you got for me? Ball mold. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if they're using sold out or anything else is in English. This is fancy fishman. These are fancy slobs. <laughs> oh goodness. <gasps> Oh no, oh no, oh no. Shit, that was close. I bet that's not how any anything would work. Like a propeller engine wouldn't have its like main power source just right there on its nose. But again, it's video games. Come on, Ethan. Got this, mate. You got this. I'd like to see you try. You tell me, then. John Wick on this asshole. You take my daughter. There's you take more. my wife. Why I yada. More what? Um. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Give him that shot. Oh, shit. What's up, homie? Oh, yes. 
Oh, who are you calling these people Slavs? Even though Romanians hail from Romans, some ancient European people. Yeah, but it's not as fun. Dissatisfied? I believe this is a fair price. Ah, it's fine. All finished. Thank you for your patronage. Yep. Patronage. <laughs> oh man, where's that key level? I think that was was it B three? About to find out. So I was born in America, probably don't even know Romania is a country. I know it's a country! You're the one who started calling them Slavs. Hmm. Damn! We just should gank that asshole. Okay, the foundry was. Down here? Confirmed? Oh fuck, I think we did a bad. We definitely did a bad. Oh no. Okay, it's all fine. It's all fine. This map is getting confusing in here. No.
go in a fucking circle. Okay. Okay. You'll never leave this place. I hope I do. <laughs> I don't like this place. This place sucks. It's still, it's no raging baby fetus level, so that's cool. I enjoy that. Fuck. Um. Also, this place is like hard to memorize. It's like a proper maze level. It's not like, you know, Castle D where I generally had a good idea of where I was going. Oh, come on. Again. Fuck me. Okay. Alright, we're just gonna. Okay, I went this way. Because there's a door over here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I think I know where I am now. Sort of. More or less. I think the pouch. Oh my god! has some Silent Hill vibes. It absolutely fucking did, dude. I was I was having some hard PT flashbacks during that level, and then <laughs> I was telling Chad time, I was like, since that one door just like opens on its own in the hallway, I was like, I swear to God, if some fucking baby fetus starts crying in a sink, I'm fucking done. But they went one step further and decided to make a ginormous car-sized screaming baby fetus come at me, and I lost my shit last night. It was not fun. I did not care for that. <laughs> that being said, though, it's like, you know... That's the, uh... <laughs> that's probably the worst thing I'll see in this, probably. Everything since has been like, ah, it's good. It's all good. Okay, cool. 
done with that room. Is it this way? Pardon? Oh, what's up, cunts? Alright, come on, turn the funnel you out. Come on. Oh, get... Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck. Get bent. Mechanical part. Is that it? Let's get me here to waste some ammo and get some mechanical scrap. I'm pretty good on health. Probably use more handgun bullets. Alright, cool. Alright, uh, we just gotta get to top floor then, which is right, foundry, operating room, switch. Uh, one of you is definitely fucking getting up to attack me, aren't you? Y yep, there it is. There it is. I just had to go sicko mode on him. <laughs> what are he? What's in you? Wolfsbane long barrel. Oh, excuse me.
Medical log. Revitalization surgery. This is my 18th attempt. The subject is Oscar the Stable Boy, 20 years old. He fell down the well while drunk. Body is in good condition. <clears throat> Chest incision complete. Now to remove the heart and vital organs and implant the control device. Excellent. Cadeau has begun adhering to the nervous system. It's progressing even faster than before. It seems upping the ratio of meta-albumin in the artificial blood was the right choice. Now to pass a current through the brain stem using 6,600 volts. Come on. It has to work this time. Yes. Yes! Ha 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 ha! <laughs> Wonderful! My creation! At last! I'll get that bitch yet! Ha 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 ha! Ending recording. <laughs> now that's what I call pod racing. Okay, how do I get back? So I have no idea where I am, and I cannot read this map and save my life. I can imagine how hard this game is with people who are um, colorblind. That's gotta suck. Okay. Take a right, loop around the foundry. And then... Straight? No, this straight. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, that's a big one. Lord, he's stepping. All right, come on then. Come on, come on. Keep coming, buddy. Miss me with that shit. Oh, fuck, sakes. Oh shit. They went the wrong way. Fuck.
Jen. How you doing, dude? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're out here trying to survive. I can't remember how to get to anywhere. God damn it. I'm not going that way. I'm just not. I'm just not going to do it. Fuck. Oh, for fuck's sakes. back here. Okay, well, I went that way last time, so we will go this way. I just gotta get back to the Duke. I just gotta get back to Big D. That's all I gotta do. Now I can get back to it through this, so... I really hate this level. I hate it more in a, it's really annoying and convoluted, rather than I hate it because I'm fucking terrified of it, like the dollhouse. We're just back here, where we've already been, I think. Watch a bitch get lost in a fucking map for uh, half an hour. Is this is where I came from. I think this is where I came from, and I've already forgotten. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just dumb. I just gotta get back to Big D. That's all I gotta do. That's all I gotta do. And usually it's like old paths led to him, but now when I really need to go there, I'm just proper fucked.
And we're back here again. Okay, well, we went left. There. There. Like the hair in Snatch. I love Snatch. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. You like Dags? <laughs> there we go, Blue A boys. Are you glitch, son? Um, oh, my. oh no. Oh, that leads right to it. Let's go get down that hallway. Let's go get down the hallway. Alright, fucker. Oh, thank fuck. Jesus. That only took half an hour. Fuck is it? Okay, I can't see. You know what? I, I just don't even care. I don't even care. Fuck it. Fuck if it. It's just looking. Window shop away. Food is life. <laughs> Responsible for puzzles has too much free time. <laughs> yeah, I hear that, Capcom? Chef calling you out. As always, a trustworthy fair exchange.
I hope this one makes itself useful. Okay. Securing goods is more a good day. Hey then. Okay, we we'll got the boss room key. You get over there. Not a lot of shotgun shells. I've not a lot at all. Prototype Sturm used a cheap turboprop engine, made it impossible to control. All it does is charge. Too much power output for the reactor? Completely invincible, head on. The dumbass man should chop his own damn arms off with the repeller. Also, issues with overheating from running for long periods of time. Conclusion a complete failure. I guess he's talking about propeller head. <laughs> oh my god. Time for this bullshit. Out of my way. Oh my god. How do I Okay, I guess that works. Oh, m fucking hell, dude. All right. Come on, what do you got? What do you got? Yeah, he's got that, apparently.
Oh my god. Goodness. No, 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 no. Come on, fucker. Come on. Two shells left. Dude, when will he die?
I'm about like proper out of ammo. Stay down. Oh, finally. Come on. Die. Oh. Beautiful. <sighs> Is he maybe Apache helicopter? <laughs> Is this complete failure? Is this going to kick your ass? Fuck off, fish, man. Whew. Man, that took almost everything. Jesus. That was rough. Y'all better stock me up. Because... That took like everything I had. A cigar. Cigar made in Cuba. It's really damp. Miranda. It's abominable. Her seat knows no bound. We're merely a bunch of failed canal experiments to her. I was just lucky I had more affinity to the stuff than the other poor schmucks in the village. So she still calls me her son. What a joke. I'll never forgive her for what she did to me. That crazy bitch has never been right in the head. She can't see a difference between experiment and family. Miranda didn't just change my body, she took my dignity. If I don't kill her, then my life will never be my own. Still, she may be crazy, but she's also powerful. She can turn into anyone using the Megamycetes. The trick is that brat, Rose. If I can access her power, then maybe. Speaking of, the kid's dad, Ethan. That's a pretty big, interesting body of himself. Maybe I could get him to help me out. No, oh, Clay, you're still awake? I thought you left like ages ago. I was, out. I was trying to channel my, you know, inner Heisenberg for that. Okay. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Under the factory. Secret tunnel. Oh, you know what? Doesn't matter. I have to reload all these shells, anyways. Could you imagine if I was an asshole who did that?
Oh. Um. Oh, here we go. This reminds me of the Droid Factory from Attack of the Clones. Behold the Singularity Engine! something in here. That's super cool. Big fuck off room. No items. I'd love to see it. What the? Not bad. Not bad, Jersey. You're persistent. But I've got a rebellion. So stay out of my way. Start at the bottom, and now we're back in the bottom. Sin again? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. It was Miranda. Oh. What? <gasps> She's a bioweapon. She changed her appearance and pretended to be Mia. It seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. Why us, Chris? What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. Hand me that wrench. Getting some answers, lads. Finally. That wasn't Mia confirmed? Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. In this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. Might not be true. Take a look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. Keep looking. Rose. Holy shit, we gotta go! Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get it, Ethan. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. <laughs> Stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator. I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. 
All right, Ethan. Then you take this and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. You can't turn back now. Shit, lads. We got we got the answers. The Hound Wolf Squad. Sweep of the factories is complete. And proof of any connection with the organization. Yes, this just wasn't our lucky day. I did manage to get my hands on a number of documents disclosing some of Raina's experiments, which support our previous theories. She seems to have infected herself with immune my seeds, which has granted her a number of abilities, including mimicry. She control her cells and transform herself to look like anyone or anything. She disguised herself as Mia and infiltrated the winners' home. Her objective was clearly to kidnap Rose. Maybe she thought she could control Rose easier if she looked like her mom. When we attacked, it put a little damper on her plan, so she mimicked the corpse. So then she then revived herself in the transport truck, killed everyone on board, and took off with Rose. Things didn't go the way she had originally planned, but in the end, she still got what she wanted. Until now. It's time to rendezvous. Blow this place sky high. This might turn into a fight with Heisenberg, but I think I found something useful. I left one of his little toys laying around, and it's even made from a metal polymer compo composite, which he can't control. Time to turn the tables. Alpha. Oh, I love that Chris calls himself Alpha. Because he has pretty big daddy energy in this. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I also really like that they brought Jeff Shine back um, to voice... Well, not back to voice him, but... Um, he was the voice of Carlos in 3. And I think he's like a really good job as Chris, but still, I hear just a bit of Carlos today. Maybe because just I just came here from playing through 3. But I think he still gives Chris a lot more personality. Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. I'm coming, Rose. One second. Okay. All right. I feel like I'm in aliens right now. Oh, don't do it! 
So this is the path of father love. <laughs> Punching asshole. Holy shit, I could not believe he just made a Resi 5 reference like that. That's hilarious. I love that so much. You love your traumatics, don't you?
fuck, lads? We did it. I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Ethan? Rose? Ethan! Ethan, respond! Mia? Yeah. Oh, shit. Our child. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg on, you've lost your lead. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> <laughs> Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? Rose is her successor. No. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must stop her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! Calm yourself. Rose will be safe. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours. Where are you? Show yourself. Why did Rose come to be? Was it because of her parents? And you are truly a special case. But I've learned all I can. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda! You coward! Come on and face me! <gasps> Don't worry. Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. Oh my god, she sort my fucking heart out? I will make sure to sample your blood for later. I mean, you've lost hands before, but... The ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother, bound for eternity in blood. <laughs> I've waited so long, but dreams really can. I can't wait to see my true child again. <laughs> Merely a flashman. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. I don't oh know. As much shit as Ethan's been through, I can't imagine that's the end of him. You know? doesn't doesn't seem right I, know, I mean homeboy like super glued a hand to himself I wasn't able to retrieve the body but I recorded evidence share your screen and I'll go over the situation my team and I were careless yesterday we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? <laughs> Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. God damn it, when 
is it at? What's that, sir? The mission? All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. Looks like we are playing as Chris. So BSAA got here already. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Okay. okay. K-9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. Been a while since we oh. together, Captain. Shit, lads. The desert. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turned herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at, either. Spooky. Holy shit. Was the first already main character that they killed? I don't know. I wouldn't write Ethan off yet. I feel like, like first said, if, if they do him dirty like that, I don't think that's a really good send off for the amount of shit we just went through. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll, we'll see. What do we got? The fuck is this thing? Inside to be on that gun that Chris has customized for equally high power accuracy and fire rate. This is bonkers. This is like a fucking war zone pistol. Like, but one you have to buy in a pack. <laughs> it's like some sort of Glock. See, there's a stock. It's probably like automatic. A dragoon, an easy to handle, fully automatic cable rifle with the shortest barrel possible. Okay, it's got a little AK variant. And a Kukri. That's weird. I was expecting Chris to have a, just a big fuck off knife like he usually does. Oh, oh my god, I can't believe we're playing as Chris though. I'm super excited. Although, what is this imagery? All right, we, we gotta fix this. <laughs> Not my resi. like that. Okay. That's fair enough. Hey Alpha, what's this? Yes, hey. Oh. Christ. Looks pretty rough down there. Bye. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're going to have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. <laughs> Everyone wants to call of duty. Violence. Roger. <laughs> I was getting seriously with my distaste for that firearm has reawakened me. Hey, Fisher, stay awake. I'm pretty sure we gotta be at the end. At this point. 
There's more than we thought. Watch out. Oh, we just haymaker that bitch. Alright, well, it's, it's not automatic, so. Roger that. Also, I'm just gonna say this his Houndwolf squad looks fucking dope. I feel like I gotta recreate that in Ghost Recon at, at this point. If I can. For Ethan Saga, though, play Ethan experience on the Battle Battleheart and Chris. Rinse, wash, repeat. Yeah, I guess so. Fucking Bravo 6 1 going dark over here, apparently, though. Let's go. Jesus. Didn't expect to see the bears in any gold They could eyes at Miranda too. Down, doggy. You know what? I'm um, fuck the inventory. Oh shit, I have night vision? I don't like this handgun though. For one, it's really ugly. Oh, fuck off. And two, it's not something Chris would use ever. Umberize, I need some backup. I see you. Two hundred to the point. I've never heard of a mutamycete colony growing so huge. Go fuck yourself. They 
just keep fucking coming. This will serve my days for. Oh my god. the target location. Damn, this is big. All right, Lobo. Marking the target. Roger that, boss. Bingo. All right. Reloading now. Just a minute. Oh. This is small. Made it that way. Yeah. Yeah, I hear him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Once I get you down to cover all your horses, I'm reloading. It's them. Watch your boys with a quiz. Ah, fuck. That's a lot of big boys. That's a lot of good boys. For cheeky banter, I'm kind of fucked over here. Just 
laser on the target and leave the rest to me. Yeah, I fucking know. Give me a second. I wish I had more bullets. That was spicy. <sighs> Captain Price could never. I found a way <laughs> out. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Captain, I compared the mold at the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the yeah. E-series. The stuff originated here. How you guys doing so far? <laughs> you guys still awake? <laughs> what the fuck? Is that Biggin from the beginning? I'm like in a Rancor pit right now. Huh? Oh, that's bullshit. This is way too danger close for someone to fucking do that to. That was close. Keep going. The rest of you stay above ground. Jesus Christ. That was wild. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. I found it. 
Oh, it's the mega goodness. Ice. Holy shit. It also looks like a giant fetus. I don't enjoy it. Do not like. Alpha the squad. I've located the Megamycete. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. <sighs> and two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the same site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. Oof. This must be Miranda's lab. Oh, goodness. I hope you guys are up for a lot of reading. I feel like there's going to be a lot of lore dumping in here. Subject's name, Salvatore Moreau. Good how affinity, low. Brain function, surprisingly low. The cow has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills and a swim bladder. Another subject with irregular cell division, causing him to transform to a giant fish. The subject is unable to control this transformation. Too many defects. An unfit vessel for Eva. Subject name, Alcina Dimitrescu. Good have affinity, most favorable. Brain functions, normal. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. Subject can heal any external wound within seconds and grow her nails in the claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. Dummy thick. Note, due to hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. Interesting. It's just not like really a vampire, but also totally a vampire. I suspect that the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced and she may mutate uncontrollably. An unfit vessel for Eva. Subject name, Carl Heisenberg. Good out affinity, incredibly favorable. Brain functions, normal. Has electric organs, similar to the electric ray. Narke Jap Japonica? <laughs> These electric organs are connected to a subject's nervous system, can therefore pass and control electricity throughout the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields, which is used to metal. Splendid specimen, but still an unfit vessel for Eva. Subject name, Donna Minivianto. Good affinity, favorable. Brain functions, normal, although severe of mental illness. Physically, she is no different from a regular human. However, she can secrete a signal-producing substance which controls plants infected by the immunomycetes. When humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her cadaver among her dolls in order to control them from distance. An unfit vessel for Eva. Here says, oh no, <laughs> Lady seems like one of the greatest vessels. I would agree. She was <sighs> chef's kiss of a vessel, in my opinion. The f so it's like a big the fuck off Plaga. God, there's all sorts of shit in here. It's 
What's that, Miranda? Ah, uh, yes, applying eyeliner. Bunch of scientists, little girl. Is that Evelyn, though, from Seven? It's a tall person. They have Miranda. My deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor, half-dead medical student in the snow. I have always cherished revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research to think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism positively visionary. I knew that with that knowledge, I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars, and humanity on the cusp of another, my convention, conviction never wavered. I realized, however, through the many nights of intellectual talks with you that I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You hoped to bring back a single dead person, while I aimed to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I have found the key to evolution. The progenitor. A virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus's research. I will call it Umbrella, just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. Wow. I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday, too. You taught me so much, and for that, I will be forever in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, all's well, E. Spencer. Spencer, here. No way. <sighs> wow, that was quite a lore dump. Just in that letter. Holy shit. So it was right earlier. Oswell came here, and those symbols on the walls and everything predate actual umbrella that's where the inspiration grew from very interesting my Eva it's been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu that was so perilous back then but now now I can bring you back to life for the Megamycete I had to test her new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the Megamyce regulator, the giant chalice. All that is left is to merge her with the Megamyce. The ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so struck with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. It became the Batman. Okay, I'm sorry. I so wanted to be with you again, and that's when I found it. The Mega My Seat, completely by accident. When I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. The Mega Mega Seat breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. I just needed the right vessel. When I return to the village, I am planted the villagers with mold for the Megamycete. That way I could control them, experiment on them. 
I've experimented on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried the increased efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I'll call Gadao. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Alcina, who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold and your DNA, but all they created was another defect, Evelyn. Oh, then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them. I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Eva, I've waited too long to see you again. Yeah, so the mold predates all from Rella's work. Confirmed. Looks like she's just pretty much immortal. Oh, shit. That's Evelyn in the middle. I think that's I think that's me on the far right. And then obviously Miranda right above Eva. Wild. Man, this is a huge lore dump in this room. Anything else? Oh shit. Umbrise, this is off. Real Where's Mia confirmed. Right now? Still the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. It really is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught. In Houston experiments. Wait, did you say me? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is gone. I couldn't save him, but I can save Rose. Come on, it's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. Okay. Ethan's still alive, confirmed. Oh, shit, it's our boy. It's our boy. What's going on? <laughs> Someone's there? Is this going to explain like why he has like weird healing powers? How did I get here? God, freezing. This shit, my body. 
I still have to save Rose. Wrong! <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still... See? Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt, <sighs> remember. Three years ago, the Baker House, you were murdered by Jack. You died there. Three years ago. That's that's impossible. No way. You shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Bro, you. <laughs> what? What am I? I, 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 I did all that. <laughs> Rose, Mia, I. Daughter. You're already dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> I, I will save Rose. <sighs> Jesus. A lot to take in. At last, he awakes. Oh, it's Big Where D. Am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see, but to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. 
Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much, and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah, I have to be. I gotta go. We're in the end game now, boys. Do you have sufficient weapons and items? Amat Victoria Koram. Oh, the assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. One hundred and ninety-two. Oh, I can buy a pretty shotgun. I don't know if I should, though. Choose wisely. Your life, please. Be well. Thanks. Flashbang. As you wish. Your journey so all the cryptids in your lore was actually just mold. Uh, seems that way. Eleven sixty. Which is my current shotgun have? Nine sixty. Ooh, if I sold that thing though, I could get the big end. Your life may depend on it. Here, I'm gonna save first, and then yeah. and then we'll. This is your last chance. Oh, ah, stop it! Of all this commotion, I've lost an entire territory to transact in. Do take care selecting your weapons. There's not enough space. There's more than enough space. Okay, okay, fine. I'll just move one thing of shells over. Are you happy? I saw you eyeing that one. Thank you for your purchase. One moment, please. <sighs> what? Ah, 
It's fine. All finished. Sorry, guys. Just give me one second. This simple modification can be done in just a moment. Goodbye. Okay. Reckon we're ready, lads? Mr. Winters. Yeah, reckon it is, Big D. Look at this thing, though. Ooh, I'm excited to use it. Fuck off, I don't have time for this shit. Gotta keep going. Ah, little Ava, my beautiful daughter. Come to me. Eva. Is that you? Oh my god. I've never 
seen a human live without a scar. Are you sure you're not alive? The men of my seat saved me from the pits of despair. It granted me this splendid power! Yeah, right. All it's done is drive you nuts. Alright, bitch. Leave me alone. Will this die and be swallowed? You walking corpse. If I combine Rose with a Megamyce, my daughter will be made manifest at last. I've waited a century. A century. All for this day. After all, everyone dies. <laughs> Why do you interfere? Surely you have no need of those now, so close to death. She's my goddamn daughter, you psycho! This is... Your life is over! Fucking hell! I'll take wonderful care of Hold still. Two left. Four. Or so you Five thought. <laughs> Jesus. Might be you, Miranda. You're not capable of real love. I will see my hopes fulfilled. I must. Jesus. I come this far to fucking die here. I'm a little stubborn. <laughs> My wish will come true. I shall put you to rest. I thought this is like a Final Fantasy boss battle. <laughs> I think it's time you left things in my hands. Oh, yes. The hell I will. <laughs> Just. Why won't you? I 
can take any form I can. See your face again, you fucking crazy bitch. So if Ethan's like one with the mold, was this technically like God versus God? Like it really was like a Final Fantasy boss battle at the end, where you kill God, <laughs> but you are a God by that point. <gasps> the baby. Rose. Shh. Shh. It's it's all right, Rose. It's all right. <sighs> oh, we did it, lads. We secure the bag. <gasps> Ethan! Ethan! Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up! Ethan, he did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Face reveal? We gotta move. bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Me is waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Oh, Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, uh. Tell yourself. Oh, come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. God damn it. Goodbye, Rosemary. Ethan. Terminator to himself. in chat for our boy E. 
Go. Go, take us up now. Get moving. We have to get clear. No! We can't go! Not without my husband! Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? Down. Where is he? Chris, what have you done? He's gone. I tried. He stayed so we could all escape. I'm sorry. Captain, you need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. The hell were they thinking? What the fuck? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. Someone's got to pay. What is going on with the BSAA? <laughs> oh, fish, he passed out, dude. He missed everything. First of all, you need to put an F in chat for our boy Ethan to pay respects, because our boy went out like an absolute chat. He gave that bitch to business, but basically, they kind of killed each other, and Ethan stayed behind to blow the bomb, and Chris took Rose to the plane. Also, weird side plot, apparently the BSAA, which Chris works for, is using bioweapons as soldiers. Also, I heard there's an after credit sequence. I don't know what it is, but... Yeah, I think it may have missed the beginning of the whole game, for sure, but this whole sequence basically plays out, but with Mia slash Miranda reading this as a bedtime story it's to okay. Rose. The more you took, she snarled, so more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety, as the forest was consumed. 
Even now, the That's... brute forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Hello, Marty. This is really pretty, though. So what do you guys think about the whole endeavor? <laughs> ten, ten, not sure what happened, but uh, good. I, I gotta say, Seven was fun. I really enjoyed Seven. My biggest problem though was Ethan being such a, a blank slate, and he had like very little to say and very little reactions to things. And I think they vastly improved on that in this one. Ethan feels like just literally a dude going through absolute hell. And then the twist got me. <laughs> and then he literally just like fights a god to save his kid. And and goes out like an absolute Chad daddy. You still don't like his character? I mean, yeah. He's not the most well rounded Resi character. But I think, like, as a game protagonist in this series, like, it's very few. I mean, it's maybe the only. I think, um. What, uh, Gosen brought up earlier, I think it's the first Resi protagonist they've killed like that, or in any situation. I think he, I think he really redeemed himself in the end. I, I actually felt really sad. It was just me, because I'm a, I'm a sappy bitch. But... It's very to seven, he's still so bland. I feel like his whole character is just dad and husband. That's, that's fair criticism. I would agree, to an extent. I I will say this, I think they did him dirty in the end by not doing a face reveal. I feel like... I feel like that would have made a really impactful, more impactful ending. If, you know, maybe like right when he fires off the bomb, you finally see his face. I just don't understand. I get the whole first person thing, but just like. You can. I don't see why they don't just show his face. And especially after waiting this long, two games, and you're not gonna do it at the end when he has this big bomb moment. His face was mold the whole time. <laughs> I just they kind of did him dirty, though. It was this big hero moment, and that's almost like when Mas if Master Chief from Halo ever had to die or something. If there's ever a moment to show his face. I mean, get what they didn't do it in 7, because it's 
it was supposed to be like a self-insert sort of thing. But in this one, I feel like he still had enough character on his own. Maybe not the best character, sure. Maybe not the most well-rounded, beyond dad and husband. But enough where, to where, like, I feel like he, he earned that in the end, at least. So I kind of wish they had done that. I feel like everything in Chris Redfield is really cool. I liked how that turned out. I mean, I kind of figured it was probably going to be like that. Capcom wouldn't make Chris Redfield evil. Oh, these Toho Studios? So many studios on this, holy shit. Is it also feeling he's not completely dead? Is there a crisis? Nothing feels like permanent with these super healing powers. I don't know, they basically just fired off like a mini nuke over there. And we've been able to kill these other, you know, mini gods with bullets and explosions. And Ethan was already decaying. I can't imagine he survives like a. Oh, shh, here we go. Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? But he can touch the moons too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cool. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think that. This is Rose. <laughs> oh, my girl's wearing chucks. Looks like Ethan's jacket, too. Digger style. Hey, Dad. <gasps> Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Oh, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. <sighs> Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know? I know. There's a person down the other road. Father's story is done now.
years old is four four wing baby fetus. Challenges not liking this. Oh, that's a lot of challenges. Override is completed. Uh, yes. Sweet. There is a new game plus. That's cool. Super powered rose. That's nice. Content shop. Mercenaries, yes. Machine gun. Grombit knife. Get that stupid pistol from Chris. Hand cannon. Rocket pistol. LZ answer. We all stage at least SS rank and mercenaries in lockdown. Is that a fucking lightsaber? He has one log. The baby. Concept art. This is what Rose's power set is. Me too. The last time they kind of did something with anywhere close to superpowers was like our Wesker, and then also his son Jake and. R E six. Okay, you know, I'll i I'll save up for that. I'm sure that's gotta be annoying <laughs> at this point. behind the scenes stuff. Wow, even in concept art, you can't give him a fucking face.
We want to create an impression of Evelyn's influence when including green in our key colors. There's also an idea that Rose would fight some of Ethan's enemies. Huh. She looks really cool, though. I like her design. Ah, uh, there's a boy. A few designs for Chris Redfield. Initial drafts of the story had him visit winners as dressed in civilian clothes. The Hound Wolf Squad called him Alpha. The man the Christian was actually Moraine in disguise when he loses Rose to her and he calls on his task force the Hound Wolves for backup. Chris has got to be like, what, in his 50s now? It's the first time Chris's elite squad makes an appearance in the Resident Evil universe. They created to hunt the Lycans and as such were named the Hound Wolf Squad. From what the right on her eyes, a veteran sniper, K9, a young dog handler, Lobo, machine gunner, Night Howl, communications, and Tundra, a former undercover agent for the DEA. That's really cool. He says, so does that mean Rose has memory of others who are mold infested? I think so. I think that's kind of what they're hinting at the end when, who I think was K9, to be honest, um, in the truck was like, you're a lot like him, you know? And that look in her face, and she's like, I know. And I think it's because she has, like, Ethan's memories and stuff through the whole men at my seat thing. I really like the design of these guys. I'm excited to see, because they put out a bunch of pretty cool DLC for 7. I'm really interested to see what comes next for 8. Like, Chris was, like, plotting, of course, the BSA Europe. What's going to happen with that? We're going to have a, a DLC with Rose? That'd be pretty cool. Not for villagers. Simon the Merchant, the Duke. He was originally going to make his entrance with a runaway carriage and his horses running wild, but this was axed during development. This is the basic design for the Lycans. The concept behind them was primitive zombies, which was used to create wild wolf man looking creature. So, who the fuck is the Duke? We don't know. Fun fact though, there was a bet. Where um, you talk to him, he goes, What are you buying? <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's something an old colleague of mine used to say. Which is a great connection to the Resident Evil 4 merchant, who is, you know, infamous for his lines. So, and this is, you know, he was also in Europe where 4 takes place. So it's kind of interesting to see a connection between the Duke and the Merchant from 4. Like this whole weird biohazardy merchant dealers going around in Europe. I hope that comes back into play later on. Maybe in the full remake, they'll expand on it. That'd be fun. He used to be leader of the village, now she's shadows from herself. Similar to the villager, her hair and clothes are based on 1960s new look fashion. Her design is based on the Japanese yokai Hashikusama, literally eight foot lady. 
The Mitrescu was originally designed to be a vampire. She has three black roses close to her heart, which each represent her three daughters. Up to the right, Belle, Cassandra, and Tanya, they each have a flower tattoo on their foreheads. The female enemies from the castle dungeons, Dimitrescu drains men of their blood and turns women into creatures to be her slaves. Oh, I didn't realize all the zombos in the castle were uh, purely female. I did notice a lot of them were. But it's interesting. The flying enemies appear in the castle roof. Just like the Morokai, these two were once women who were turned into slaves. They use their long tongues to drink blood. Huh. Unfortunate. <sighs> Dracula, a motif for German rescue, also means child of dragons, so he went for a dragon vampire design. That's cool. These are key colors of red, uh, white, red, and black, combined with key elements found in traditional Red Evil monster designs. Her scales are actually her cells clumping together. Each of the boss transformations is a larger version of themselves, which for Alcina made an unusually massive vampire with gigantic fangs. We also designed the way her human body is stored on her back. Also, the Matrescu's and large cells grow hair like tendrils thanks to Parasite's influence. <sighs> the puppeteer Donna and her doll Angie. Donna is dressed in black mourning clothes, while Angie is dressed in a wedding dress with flowers, each representing death and life. Angie's face is based on the same sun and moon motif of Ben Vance's crest. Donna's face is also based on the same crest symbol, the scar part of her face caused by the parasite. Her base concept is that she is a ghost. Creepy dolls. Oh, here we go. And the baby. Baby is a two, three minute old girl who's five, ten foot tall. Seven by seven long, she's created from the doll of Mia. Her umbilical cord drags behind as she crawls, and she calls Ethan Dada. She can open her left eye with effort and will put anything in her mouth. If she finds what she's looking for, she'll instantly eat it. She dribbles a lot and has no teeth, but her hands and feet are like a real baby's. Don't like that. made a crown for himself out of the bones of the villagers. He's also the most corroded by the parasite than any other lord. The concept of science design was that he's half fish, half man, and we use a number of creepy siege creatures, part as well, also giving a very Resident Evil style, a series style monster. But unlike most of the transformed creatures in a series, he still understands and can speak human speech, a rare monster that can communicate. His brain has swollen into his pack, which has also sprouted eyeballs. His sign was also based on Japanese river yokai, Kappa. Wild. The main concept is based on Frankenstein. We wanted to create a cool gray haired character who's a little rough around the edges. He smokes his favorite Cuban cigars. We went for a look that was the opposite of his human form a gi giant mechanical monster. The design based on the idea he uses scrap left scattered around the factory. He weapons from tanks and planes, and has mountains of scrap for his mass-produced experiments. The original design was based on Splendid Royal Royal Moth Caterpillar. Huh. 
One of the two looked like he moved on treads and be faster than any other boss monster. The propeller on his head is made from three chainsaw blades. He chopped his own arm off when he got in the way of spinning blades. <laughs> there was one plan to have the stern behind the Brug's real father, and during the moment, he was called Propeller Man. The Miranda's design is based on the concept of a crow queen. She's a religious leader who has a rose and has the ability to mimic anyone or anything. The wings on her back are made from mold, so she has complete control of them. Her dress is old and worn, showing that she has ruled the village for a very long time. As root of all evil in this game, you can see her likely <clears throat> likeness in the talisman used for village. You can also see the crest of the four lords in her soul, further evidence of her rule. Yeah, she is pretty cool. The mold inside her body has overflowed and her mouth and skin are starting to crack. Her golden halo is now larger and more solid and is growing out of her spine. She's lived for a very long time and her age is finally showing. We didn't want the fight with Miranda to be like an event, but a challenging boss fight, so we went with a design where her human facade is still intact. Miranda uses a network of mold to access, access the genetic makeup of various living creatures that are stored in the <clears throat> Megamycete. She uses these to transform during battle. <sighs> the concept of the picture book was based on pop up books in the Chigiri Japanese torn paper pictures. The concept art for the family in the picture books were, of course, based on Ethan, Mia, and Rose. The girl's hair color matches grown-up Rose's hair in the final version. Concept art for the Bat Lord in the picture book. The white of his fur was based on Dimitrescu, and the three black bats are based on her daughters. Designed for the Fish King and Dark Weaver are based on Moreau and Beneviento, respectively. The concept art for Arnstein, which are, of course, based on Heisenberg and Miranda. Well, that's not all. We have the Unlocked. Tragedy of Ethan Winter's concept art it is what I got from the Oh, this is stuff from Resi 7 Look, Ethan has a face here oh, Finally, the face reveal <laughs> That's their picture, it looks like some middle management bro. Like, you get those TPS reports into me? The bakers. I could bro, y'all looks old as shit. Let's look at more village stuff. Designed for Ethan from early on in Village's development, he had a backpack for his inventory instead of a suitcase. Huh. 
Paul said to Armida reading the picture book, in her early drafts, she was still recovering from the incident during Resi 7 and was in a wheelchair. Whoa! Early plans had a mysterious mass person that saves Ethan. This was going to be Ada Wong investigating the village. But this was cut due to a number of conflicting scenarios. Look at that fucking whole ass bloodborne get up though. That's cool. That would have been a neat tie in, I would like to see that. A rough draft of an early design for Dimitrescu. Her concept was a bewitching vampire with giant garden clippers. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hide it and read the thing. I'm I'm trying to turn it off as soon as I'm done as soon as I'm done reading. Uh, early development concept art for the Beneviento family based around the idea of a ghost family. Their house was always going to be a single building in front of a giant waterfall. The family were rake thin parents and children wearing strange masks. There's also a picture of the wife who threw herself into a waterfall due to a tragic tragic incident in the past. Ghost family. That's interesting. A rough draft of the monster Moreau. He was always going to be a disgusting merman. Although his sign didn't change that much, the hair sign on his back was originally going to be a girl he once had feelings for. Goodness. The ultimate simp. For real. early rough draft of the wolf and there was going to be a scene where the young men of the village drink from a chalice in turn. This which eventually cut. In early draft of Heisenberg's family, the best differential is that Heisenberg was going to be a twin and his mother was subject to brain experiments. Huh. Heisenberg's father was going to be the leader of the village, and the boss fight with the mechanical mutation was originally going to be with him. Interesting. Early development wrote draft from the leader of the village's religion, where we came up with Miranda. He was going to transform into a dragon-like monster, but this idea was later used for Dimitrescu's boss fight. Interesting. Early development concept for the Duke, the merchant. From the very beginning to the final game, he was always going to be a large character. The Duke is a merchant and a foodie. It was going to be the fifth lord in early drafts. Hmm. In Resi 7, we utilized a photo scanning technique for the character designs, but in Village, we decided to be creative and try character designs that didn't look like regular humans. Interesting. The merchant's carriage. Duke travels with his horse and carriage all over the village. It's his home, business, and means of transport. He is absolutely necky. <laughs> he is so necky. The symbol of the merchant is a lantern decorated with goat bones. The idea was that you would know it was a safe location, even from a distance. We have a number of designs, but decided a round silhouette would be more impactful. Uh, just designs for enemies left behind. I guess all those crystallized things. Typewriter for Village was designed to be distinguishable from previous games like RT 
and RE3. It is very pretty. It's funny, early on, I thought we were setting out to be one of the lords. To be honest, I did too. I was kind of figuring him to be like maybe a surprise big bad or something. Maybe just, you know, something of that extent. But he ended up just being a, a big homie, which I like. It's very mysterious. I, I enjoyed his character a lot. Even from early development, the same gameplay as Resi 7 was used, which meant using item boxes. However, as the development went on, we decided to change the game to be more like Resident Evil 4 and remove the item boxes. Interesting. Designed for the Labyrinth on Castle Dimitrescu, the labyrinths were designed after something you'd see at the end of the 19th century and are originally going to be the tributes to the Four Lords. I still only did one of those. I was so ready for the end. I didn't bother. <sighs> Early development concept art. Initial ideas had a story switch between the village in modern day and the past set in medieval times. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. An early plan for safe rooms had a camera as a safe point instead of a typewriter. That's interesting. So we for the Lycan's first appearance, we wanted them to have a wild and animalistic image, unlike the zombies in the Ganados of previous games. <sighs> Story word for Ethan's trial with all the words. At this point in development, it was still the hag followed by the four lords. So I guess Miranda wasn't a thing yet. An early plot point was to have Ada disguising herself with a mask help Ethan escape from the trial. Oh, that's cool. So that's how that would have played out. It was during the, the bit before you had to escape the uh, murder dungeon. Busting with the crossbow. I still would really like to see that. That would have been fun. This story shows the end of the trial scene, as well as Miranda's experiments. And Miranda was initially going to be a researcher investigating the village's strange creatures. Ghosts had part for an event that happened in the village before Ethan arrived. The surviving villagers had locked the gate because of the number of people killed by lichens, sealing it with the winged key. Castle Dimitrescu concept art. You can see Dimitrescu casually drinking blood as if it was wine. Oh, look at that, that bottom right. She's got just a body hanging over her glass. Real, real girl boss hours, you know what I mean? Early concept art of Castle Dimitrescu, this was cut from the wrong version, but this is where Ethan is going to fight Dimitrescu. That's not a castle. That's a house. <laughs> I 
Are you going to play the Village of Shadows difficulty? I might give it a shot. If I was going to do that, I'm probably going to run through the game another time to, you know, upgrade my weapons and stuff a bit more. Probably standard again. Um, and then maybe give it a shot. I probably it's a bitch. Um, and enemies are super bully bullet sponges, so... Probably give that a run through before I do that. Early concept art for the birth of lichens. A victim is slowly encased in mold and then emerges transformed. Interesting, it's the same thing as like the Kadao looked like. Moreau concept art where he watches old romance movies and falls into melancholy. He also loves eating cheese. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so basically there was not a point in the entire concept of Red Eight where Moreau wasn't just the most massive pathetic simp. Go get the laser weapon, eh? Yeah, I would like that. I'm curious to see how Merc's mode works in, in this version. I designed for large like human commands who change werewolves. That would have been cool. I love seeing concept art so much. Miranda's throne. There's going to be a scene where Miranda sat here holding Rose to a ceremony. Damn. <laughs> Pathetic character of all time. <laughs> he really is, though. <laughs> There's like not a chance that dude wasn't just gonna completely suck. From concept to birth, he was a simp. Just a simp, simply simping. Concept art of a day in the life of Heisenberg. Night after night, his modified henchmen dig up corpses from the graveyard to be used in his metal army. Concept art for Chris's part of the game, although we were unable to explore these characters in depth, the details behind Chris's team, the Hound Wolf Squad, have been pinned down. Yes, we got some face reveals for them. Pretty cool. I, I want to know more about them. I thought they were really rad. And surprisingly, they all lived. <laughs> Which is maybe like a first in Chris's entire career. His entire team survived. Storyboard from when the player takes control of Chris to the point where he infiltrates the village. One plan was to focus on each member of the Hound Wolf squad. That would have been cool. I really like their look. I thought they were kind of underutilized in the end. Because that was like a big finale and you don't really get to see them in action. Storyboard of the BSAA arriving at the village as well as saving Mia. Maybe they'll include them as a DLC thing. Maybe. So I still want to know 
when they just end up in the bird and the um, osprey at the end, like how they secure that BSA body, like what happened there. Rough design for mutated Miranda, where she was going to transform into a mold creature. It has much less interesting. I'm glad they didn't do that. Cause she looked fucking epic. Like that was. We felt like you're fucking a god. The final scene looks more like Miranda, which worked better for the plot. I agree. Story for the end game with Ethan's death and Chris's decision, creating a sense of uncertainty as a helicopter flies from the village. Storyboard for the end credits. Long ago, a child was born to a family. The family lived in peace for a while. One day, a sickness fell in the village, and one by one, the people began to die. The wife, too, succumbed to the illness. There were more graves than survivors. It wasn't long before the daughter got sick. But Miranda used the cadaver to create a miracle, and she became a saint. Then the villagers infected with a parasite cadaver turned into lichens. Don't be surprised if there's a whole DLC around Chris's squad. Yeah. Alright. And that was pretty much it. What's this? Is that a burden? Love shows an early design for me. Jack where he looked more like himself, but this was later changed to the parakeet, so I didn't find weak points. Push and right design for me as colleague Alan. Oh, yeah, because she was working with that shady company. Mold designs. The mold were such an uninteresting enemy. I just didn't give a shit about them. They kind of scared me at first for a while, but they're all the same. There wasn't a lot of, like, really good variety there. Okay. Well, it's about 5 in the morning. 3D model of here. All right, all right, all right. We'll do we'll do a bit of the modeling. Ethan Winters, the faceless man. Oop. They really just don't want to show his fucking face. Give us the face. There's Chris with his stupid gun. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Chris doesn't need a stock, okay? He has biceps that can punch boulders. I'm pretty sure he can hold a fucking gun steady. That face, though. Dude, Clay, you open again tomorrow? What are you doing, homie? Go to bed. Or, I guess you're probably not at this point. Tall lady is tall. God, what a great character. It was seemed they kind of blew, her, blew their load on her first off.
<laughs> Boulder punching daddy. Umber eyes. See, that's a nice handgun. I love cool operator looks. Big fan. Ah, oh, the girl one. Yes. Oh, she's have a helmet. You can see her hair. A good look at the BSAA. To this. Change our uniform quite a bit. Especially from six. It looks a lot more aligned with a new emblem too. I like their old one now. It was pretty iconic. I I still have a patch that I got from Resi 5 back in the day. Huh. And that's it. I don't want to blow you guys up with... This was making a noise every time I unlocked a new one, so... This was fun. Clay, I'm so sorry about tomorrow, buddy. You should call out if you can. Try to get Crawford to... Well, never mind. There's a bunch of stuff happening at work. I won't go into it. But, man, this was quite a journey. I appreciate you guys all hanging out and being here with me for this fresh new resi. It was an absolute joy to go through. As you guys know, I obsessed with this game series so this is so much fun um not sure what we're gonna play next um uh, mass effects coming out soon so we'll probably do that i feel like i should get back on fallout at some point and i still have to finish phoenix <laughs> which we're close to the end of that so ugh. There's too many games and not enough fucking time to play them. Not enough fucking time. <laughs> um, but anyways, love your faces. Hope everyone has a great Tuesday. You're all wonderful. Have a good one.